Hey guys, this is Josh from Joshua.com and I just put together a little video explaining how you can get around a certain limitation with Skype voicemail messages. So currently if you use Skype and you have a lot of business contacts or contacts in general calling you up um, and you have them going to voicemail sometimes, the problem with voicemail currently is that you can only record a message directly into the um, Skype option box. There's no if I go to options and then go down to voicemail, there's no feature that allows you to upload a WAV file or an, or an MP3 player, uh, MP3 file. Um, so this approach is just a workaround for that to allow those people that have gotten professional um, voicemail messages or have done you know some fancy things like um, audio editing to have background music or whatnot, then this will help you guys out to get your recordings in and set them as the voicemail greeting. So, one of the first things we'll need to do is we need to grab, um, let's assume that you haven't done your MP3 recording um, or you'd like to do a couple fancy things, then um, what you'll probably end up having is a .wav file. Now, for the purpose of this, you need to have a .mp3 file. Um, so, to do that, you just need to grab a piece of software called Audacity. Now, this is free. And it also comes with a codec that will allow you to export as MP3. So that means you can download the program, and it looks a little bit like this. It's quite cool. Um, but as default, like I said, you won't have the option to export as MP3. But once you install the, I think it's driver or codec, then you'll have that, that option to export as MP3. So that'll take care of your file, and you'll be left with a nice MP3 file to use. The next one that you'll need is an application called Morphox Pro. And for this one, it's produced by a company called Screaming Bee. But if you go here, then what you'll find is there'll be a buy option and a try option. And all you need to do is just download the trial version. And then that'll take care of um, everything you need for the purposes of this example. So as you can see right here, these are the two buttons. And once you hit try, then you'll be able to save it. And um, yeah, I've already done that. So what I can do is I can bring it up here. You'll open it, and then this will be the dialog box. So there are a bunch of features, but the only important ones, um, when you come on, of course, you want to disable morph and listen, because it automatically sets this so you sound like a kid, uh, which is quite interesting. But yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to take that MP3 file you've produced, and we're going to add it as a sound effect. Now Morphvox is unique in that it allows, it creates another mic input um, option for Skype. So you know maybe Skype only has one mic option currently with your headset, um, but once you set up Morphvox, it will um, give another option, and that's the one we'll be using. So you go to Sound Effects, Advanced, and you'll go to Customize down at the bottom go to next and you'll be adding in a new sound effect so for the name of this I've just put new greeting new greeting because I can't spell and then from there I can add the file so let's just assume I think it was documents training okay and greeting.mp3 here I can listen to it. Hi, this is Josh. Sorry I can't come to the phone right now, but leave your name and number and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And that's great. And then I'll just go to Next. It'll confirm it. And then once that's done, it's been added. So what you'll be able to do <coughs> is, in sound effects, you'll be able to look at the lists. And you can see I've done a couple of tests here, another test here. But here's the one that I'm interested in in greeting mp3 just to confirm hi this is josh that's the one i want so we can go out of that now and you'll note that it's set as greeting.mp3 here so more fox is all set up and we're going to leave this open because what will happen is we're going to use a couple um do a couple things at once and so what i'll do is i'll bring my um, skype option box up and here we go pull it over here so you can see that I'm in 
the Skype options, and I've gone to call settings, um, and voicemail. Cool. So what I'll be doing is I'll just revert to the default one, and then you can hear it play. The person whom you're trying to reach is currently on... Cool. So this is the one we don't want. Now, what we have to make sure before we do this recording is that in general sounds, sorry, general audio, that for the microphone, you've got that set to Screaming B Audio as the mic. And what that means is that anything played through here um, will be recorded in Skype. Then you just go down to Calls, Voicemail, and you know, I'll just nudge this over a little bit more so you can see. Cool. Hi, this is Josh. Sorry I can't come to the phone right now, but leave your name and number and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Awesome. And it's as simple as that. So when I play it back... Hi, this is Josh. Sorry I can't come to the phone right now, but leave your name and number and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And that's it. So now we've saved our new recording. Um, it will play every time somebody is taken straight to voicemail when they ring us, but this is a way for anyone that gets stuck with an MP3 file, wants to upload it, use it as a voicemail greeting. Um, this is one approach that I've used to get it done. So hopefully that helps you guys. If it um, was of use to you, then just leave a comment below. And um, if anyone gets stuck, then again, leave another comment below, and then I'll endeavor to help you guys out as much as possible. Cheers!